You, you made a great point earlier talking about how, um, you know, people can kind of get high spots just from watching online. And, and, you know, back in the day, like you said, like if we had a tour in Portugal or a show in Portugal, you would go there and see, wow, it's a little bit different there. You know, I remember going to Germany and some guy would come in from Switzerland and he would have a little bit of a different style than the guy did from, you know, from England or Germany or it's Italy or whatever. One thing that was always cool about Calgary, even just going there and Stampede Wrestling was the king of this, but they had so many different styles there in Stampede with the English style and they had some Mexican, they had the Japanese and the Canadian style. And we were kind of almost trained that way where it wasn't just in one specific format. There was a lot of different little variants that came just because we came from, from the Calgary territory. Yeah, and I, I think that's one of the reasons why, and I never thought about it until you pointed it out, one of the reasons that I always sort of laugh or I'm dismissive when people talk about, you know, the WWE style or this style. And I'm like, if you know how to work, it's like there isn't a specific style. It's like you can just it, to me, it's just cooking is the style. And it's like, hey, bring whatever spices you want. We can make a recipe here where there are some places, you know, WWE in particular, that has a specific menu. And these are the items that are within our menu. And these are the items that you are going to cook. And it's not that it's right or wrong. They just have a very specific menu. And Stampede was very much it's like, if it tastes good, bring it. Right, 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 right. And I think the fact that I grew up in a bit of that and was very fortunate to travel early on that I learned that, hey, if I'm wrestling Dave Taylor in, in Europe, I'll do a European catch as catch can style match. And if I'm, you know, working with, you know, Hayabusa in, in Japan, I'll, I'll do that. And it, it makes you, I think, more open minded as well as just more versatile. And it really helps. And it's a shame, I think, that currently with the lovely access of the Internet, it's like everybody just wants to whatever's the best. I'm doing that. And I've joked and, and thankfully I haven't had to do too many of them, but I've joked actually with Don Callis that my new least favorite style of wrestling is unathletic people doing young buck spots in slow motion hmm. because you know that young bucks kenny omega fast paced you know ray phoenix real fast paced stuff is really great that's what everybody loves but not everybody's ray phoenix that's right yeah and while if you can do ray phoenix spots that's freaking amazing if you're not ray phoenix yeah it's like bad lucha you know good lucha can be awesome bad luch is just wretched well it's it's like that with anything you know i remember back you know 10 15 years ago when johnny saint started uh people started discovering him everyone was trying to be johnny saint and it'd be like it was that one cat from canada joe legend or whatever he's doing all these johnny saint spots it's like dude you're not johnny saint you know you're not negro casas doing the mahi Stral, so just don't do it you know and it really is it, it's you know find the thing that suits you best and what works best for you. Not everybody can be Tiger Mask, but not everybody can be Vader either. And it's it's finding who you are and then best presenting it to everyone. And that's a lot of what I'm trying to do here is I'm that third person looking at it more objectively than you can. And that's something that a lot of people have realized too, that it's very hard to review your own stuff fairly. Right, of course. Because one of the things I, I realized when I was doing my school is that people say, well, I just don't feel like I'm doing anything. And I'm like, you're the only one looking at you right now. Hmm. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, the focus of the attention is currently on the opponent. We're watching him sell. It doesn't matter if you feel like you got your thumb up your butt. No one's looking at you. <laughs> yeah. But when you're reviewing your own stuff, you're just watching you for what am I doing wrong? And that's where I always use the example. It's like, does anybody know what Bubba's doing when Devon gets the table? Great point. It's like, no, because nobody gives a shit. People are watching Devon <laughs> get the damn table. That's what Pat used to say. You just lie there like a douchebag. No one's watching you anyways. His point being is that you're not on camera. No one's paying attention. You can lie there all day and there's two idiots in the front row going, get up, Jericho. And there's 15,000 people watching, you know, The Rock do, do whatever the hell he's doing. So that makes perfect sense. There's always that guy at the guardrail. Yeah. You're not really hurt. Get up. <laughs> yeah. 